Happy New Year everyone, welcome to 2021 and I am kicking this year off with a tutorial and today I'm going to be teaching you the most visual restoration trick that I know. In this trick, which is called Dismantle, you take a playing card and a corner of it just rips itself away from the card. It floats in midair and you restore it in an instant. It's a really, really visual trick. And I had a little hard time creating this. And in this video, although this is a tutorial, I'm also going to share with you the creative process. And that's a process that's still going on because I don't consider this idea a finished idea. I, I want to hand this over to you guys and let you guys play with this idea now. Now that I've come up with something that I'm, I'm sort of happy with, I want to give it to you guys and see what you can do. The idea really was quite simple. I wanted a corner to break away from a card and restore in midair without me touching it. A sort of restoration, levitation style trick. Something that is a bit outside my comfort zone. I don't normally do things like that. I consider myself more of a... Uh, down-to-earth magician, I guess, mentalism, card magic, that sort of stuff, more sort of real objects. This is a bit weird for me. I went into it, and I went into it with a bit of a strange approach. I was, I was really focusing on physical methods, something that could be done in person. And spoilers, this trick only works on video. One of the things that I thought about doing was a little motorized reel of invisible thread that lowered the corner and then zipped it back up again. <laughs> <laughs> that was not going to work, but hey, it was an idea. You've got you've got to get through the stupid ideas to get to the sensible ones. So <laughs> that was one of them. I also thought about a clear piece of plastic, maybe that didn't show up on camera. This was when I was going more towards the video style of trick because I knew this was quite visual. Probably wouldn't work in person as well as on camera. And in the end, the method I came up with was something so unusual and so unexpected. I didn't think that this would be how the trick is going to be done, but in the end it turned out to be the best option. So there we have Dismantle. That is the full performance of Dismantle. You might be thinking, Kevin, I've seen too much there. What was the end of that trick? And I really love the ending of that trick. Now sure, if you're performing this yourself, you don't have to include that ending, but I think the ending adds so much for the audience when they suddenly realise what they were looking at all along. I think it adds a ton. So, yeah, obviously it's a bit of a controversial ending to the trick, just completely ruining the fact that it's a digital card, but I think it's really, really amazing. I've tested this on some people, I've shown the video to some people, and they really love the idea of the ending. And these are non-magicians, by the way. These aren't magicians who are going to get hurt by the fact you're revealing the trick. These are normal people who found it consistently more amazing when you had that ending of revealing that it was a digital, digital, I can't even speak, a digital card. The illusion is dismantled for them. That is why the trick is called dismantled. Not because the card is dismantled, although it is, but because the trick itself is dismantled completely in front of them. They, they see how it's done and they realise what they've been looking at. And then they can't watch the trick again without seeing the method. I think it's one of those things that, you know, you will want to rewatch just because, hold on a second, what did I just see? Go back? Now I want to see it again. It's one of those. And uh, I really like that. So yeah, obviously it ruins the trick at the end, but I don't think it ruins it. I think that's the wrong word. I think it improves it. I really do. So how do we go about editing Dismantle? Well, first of all, actually, I want to show you another performance of it, which is completely different and uses a different method altogether. So in that version you just saw, which is essentially a practice tape, it was never really meant to see the light of day, but it's fairly polished for a practice tape, which is why I'm comfortable showing it. Um, in that version, obviously, you can see at the end that the card has just been playing as a YouTube video. This is a black art, essentially. It's a black art video that is being played, and uh, yeah, that was the initial thing, but I'm not a huge fan of black art just because of how dark the video had to be, and I literally couldn't move the phone one way or another because of the lights. It took me so long to figure out. My phone's quite shiny, it turns out. <laughs> I tried to like mask it with black tape and it didn't work. So yeah, it's very, very shiny. And there is a tiny reflection of the camera at one point on, uh, on the phone screen. Not that anyone would notice, but yeah, I wasn't entirely happy with that. So I moved on to the idea of adding it in post. And you'll notice, maybe you'll notice, if I put them side by side, that it's actually the same video of the card. The card breaks away and restores in exactly the same way both times. Just one of them has a green screen. So I'm going to show you 
all of the different components of the final final product of Dismantle, which is the out in the open version with no black art. So this right here is the raw video. I shot this yesterday. It took me only an evening to come up with the whole video, which is why some of the uh, keyframing is a little bit dodgy in my opinion, but um, I'm using a green piece of card. Our trusty friend, the green piece of card. I love doing stuff with green screen. I think it's a great little magical tool. And uh, yeah, it's essentially just me holding a green piece of card and acting as if the trick has happened. And it's all about about acting, it's really all about selling it. So when you're filming, all about selling it. I'm moving my eyes as if there's stuff happening, which obviously there's not, um, but that'll really sell it once the final video is complete, that something actually is happening. And the next component is actually uh, the card, the card itself. So this is the original video right here. It's just an animation I came up with using a bicycle playing card PNG, or PNG, as I like to call them, and uh, I just mask around it, I just animate the uh, the corner, give it a bit of motion, and it's as simple as that. Whack it on a green screen, and we're done. The next part of it is actually going back to the video, combining all of those things together. So we have, of course, the card being put in the right place, and then actually the fingers as well, because obviously my fingers are in front of the card, and if I were to just put the card on the video, that card would be over my fingers, which doesn't make any sense. So I have to mask around my fingers, I have to keyframe those out, frame by frame, <laughs> cutting out my fingers, and then placing it in front of the card, so that the whole image can then be combined and come together as the trick, the final trick. And yeah, the movement of the card is a bit weird once you watch it a couple of times, but first time round, you don't really notice that. If I did this completely, you know, properly, again, this is an unfinished idea, I'm openly admitting that. If I did this properly, I would spend days at least, uh, you know, keyframing and tracking that perfectly, but this was all done in an evening. So if you really want to go out there and learn this stuff from scratch, if you like the idea of this effect, or you just want to improve your video editing, there's some tutorials down in the description that can help that. Um, so yeah, there we go, that is Dismantle, the full, weird, trick that is the breaking away corner and restoring, the levitation restoration. A trick I have been hunting for a long time and I can officially say I've found the method. Yes, the performance can do some cleaning up, but that will come with time and uh, this is a really exciting a really exciting method. I love it when I step in directions that I'm not used to. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to click the thumbs up button down below if you enjoyed it and you can also subscribe if you're new and you've never seen a video from me before then feel free to check out some of my other videos. They'll be linked in a minute and uh, yeah if you enjoy those, if you find yourself enjoying my content, feel free to subscribe. I do all things magic, playing cards, videos and, and stuff like that. I do videos. <laughs> I do videos. What a great way of selling my channel. Hopefully that convinces you to subscribe. And if that doesn't, I don't know what will. But yeah, cheers for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.